Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about my week in the hobby. I'm going to recap my card hunting adventure, shopping hauls, mail day stuff, and some news and some personal updates, you know, just stuff like that. Like I said, this video is about my week in the hobby, and it was a really good week. So on um, September 20th, Monday, um, went to Target, and they actually had some product in stock which i was really surprised that they had product um my walmart only allowed i think they only allowed one item per person and so um so then i grabbed one of these it's a series two hanger for 10 bucks not too bad and then i went to another walmart i mean sorry another target and they actually had some more product as well this one actually had a limit of two items so then i picked up these two things um i picked up the last series two hanger which was 10 bucks and i picked up this pack of gypsy queen um just because it was available there so i picked up these two items there and um they also had a whole bunch of product in stock too like a whole bunch of not product supplies in stock and so i picked up these right here i got a lot of product this week like i said it was a good week i picked up four of these um i had a target gift card so i was like you know i'm just going to use them up on these card sleeves so i've got two thousand card sleeves it's a lot of card sleeves but I should be good for a while now, right? This might last me for the rest of the year. So, super excited about that. Put that right there. Yeah, and then, um, you know, I, I was out getting stuff, and so I decided to go to my LGS as well. And I picked up some supplies. I picked up some random things that I wanted to give a, give a try. You know, I like to be organized and have my cards be organized too, so that if I have a card i want to sell i kind of know where it is and so i picked up some more supplies i picked up these um one touch resealable bags um, i'm going to talk about one touches more in a little bit and i picked up these card dividers there's this is like a regular height card one and then i picked up some t uh, some tall ones and um you know i just wanted to try these out you know the i might like them i may hate them i don't know um you know right now i um i just use these um semi ridges and i just use my label maker and I just put like my label on top of here. And so we'll see, these are uh, the semi ridges are just a little taller than these card dividers. Um, but yeah, right now I just print a label like Fernando Tatis or Joe Burrow and I just stick it on there and then I kind of put all the Joe Burrow cards in front of the semi rigid. Um, so might give that a try with these and kind of just see how it goes. Um, you never know, I might like it, may not like it, might not be like worth my money. Um, so, yep, got those. Um, and so then on Tuesday, um, so what did I do on Tuesday? On Tuesday, I swung by Barnes & Noble. I haven't gone to Barnes & Noble in a long time just because my Barnes & Noble hasn't gotten cards in a while. Um, usually they'll post on Instagram when they get some product in and that's when I'll try to swing by but they haven't had product in a long time or the product they had was like I don't know like stuff that I wasn't really interested in like score football Allen and Ginter baseball stuff like that you know stuff that I don't, I don't really want to open up any more of um, but then I swung by and they had some they actually just got a box of, of stuff in. And inside that box, they had some, let me see if I can find it first. Okay, here it is. They had some Topps Chrome baseball and some Prism baseball. And so, you know, I wasn't gonna open up any Prism baseball, but, you know, it was with my Barnes & Noble discount. Both of these boxes were just $27 each. And I've already opened up a lot of Topps Chrome. I think I've opened up like nine blasters. And I was like, you know what? For $27, bucks, i will get them. Because 
This blaster, I think right now at Target, I think they're selling for like 40 bucks. And at Walmart, these cost, I think about 38 bucks as well. Um, or yeah, 37 bucks or something like that. And so I was like, you know, for 27 bucks, I'll pick up one more and I'll grab one of these as well. You know, I've never opened up Panini Prism Baseball, so I'll go ahead and give it a try. Um, usually I'm not a fan of Panini Prism Baseball because, um, you know, if you're familiar with the border of Prism um, cards, it's kind of a plain border, right? And it's a very symmetrical, um, you know, it's got, I wish I had a, actually, I do have a card to show you. You know, they, they look like this. You know, it's a very plain border, right? And then when you kind of combine that plain border with a uniform that doesn't have a logo on it, and it looks very, very plain as well, The it to me, it just doesn't look that good, right? Because the plain border combined with the plain logoless uniform, it just looks bland to me compared to like a select card. Right with select, at least you've got like some design to the border that makes it a little more appealing, you know, compared to the prism border, right? And so that's why I I kind of I bought some select baseball to open up for the channel, and I wasn't gonna buy any prism baseball, but since I saw it on sale for since it was only twenty seven bucks, I like. You know what? I'll give it a try. Like, what's the worst that can happen, right? So, yeah, I mean, if you are not part of that Barnes & Noble, um, like, membership, I think it's, like, 100 bucks. Um, But, I mean, honestly, like, it saved me a lot of money. Um, and also, like, entices you to go to Barnes & Noble to shop there a little more often. And if you do, you, you might be able to find some good deals on sports cards, like, those two blasters there. Um, so then on Wednesday, uh, September 22nd, uh, there was a target drop. There was some decent stuff. Um, select basketball blasters and Donruss football blasters. Um, prestige football hangers. Uh, select football hangers. Opening day blaster. There's some other stuff too. But um, um, uh, the first item that dropped... Um, it was the select basketball blaster and I got it in my cart about three times and all three times I was not able to check out. Um, I think they were releasing it in waves. It was a target red card item and there wasn't a lot of it. There's only about like 9,000 blasters available. And so usually when there's less than like 15,000 or 20,000, of a product, I there's like a 50-50 chance of me getting it. Um, you know, I got it, like I said, I got into my cart three times and I got cart jacked all three times, right? Which sucks because I really wanted those blasters. Um, and so I passed up on it. And then next was Donruss football blasters. Um, I actually just opened up, I just realized right now, um, I opened them up already. So I can't show you guys them. Um, well, I can show you the cards that were in them. I did a break with my buddies um, down in Illinois, and we opened up three. I opened up, I broke three Donruss blasters, um, and we got some pretty decent cards. Like uh, we got a Mac Jones here. This is like it's got the gold foil here, and it's um it's without it doesn't have his helmet on. Um, oh yeah, it's a portrait. Yeah. It's a portrait too, so it's got like a canvasy type of card on it. Um, so that's pretty nice. We got a lot of Mac Jones. We got a Mac Jones base here, and we got a Mac Jones Gridiron Kings. Uh, we got a Trey Lance, Justin Fields. Man, both Mac Jones and Justin Fields did horrible today, by the way. Um, Javante Williams, not Adams. I was calling him Adams earlier. We got a Zaven Collins, who one of my friends says is is really good. Um, and then we got Amari Rodgers, who I think is going to be a pretty good wide receiver as long as he's got Aaron Rodgers throwing to him. He should be climbing up the ranks pretty quick. And we got a Trevor Lawrence rookies. Yeah, so then I um, I think Target was like allowing you to buy up to like five of these. But I only bought, only bought two because I already had one sitting on my shelf. And so I bought two Donruss football blasters. And they had a lot. 
um, this was the first time that it was on Target.com, and it was also a Target red card item. And like I said, they had about 50,000 of these um, Donruss football blasters. Um, and it was weird because at first, I didn't want to get any. But then the more I thought about it, um, the next um, retail football set to come out, I believe, is Panini Absolute, which is coming, which is coming out in on October 22nd, which is still like... I don't know, a few weeks away. And so I was thinking, okay, so the first, for the first like five, six weeks of football, of the football season, the only like really good football product is Donruss football. And so I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and pick up two more just so that I can scratch that itch to open up football cards, right? So I, I ordered two and I got them. Um, Next was uh, select football hangers. Um, this was an I, uh, in-store item, uh, in-store pickup item, and there weren't a lot available, um, and I didn't get any. Um, I'm thinking this is just stuff that's left over from like canceled orders or duplicate orders or something like that. Um, that's that's what I think. Um, I was able to get. There were some in my area. Um, but by the time I was able to check out, um, they were gone already. So uh, that's okay, though. So then next, um, yeah, so I think that was it. Th those were the big items that dropped on Target.com this week. Um, there was some other stuff there um, that I decided to buy, and I bought some stuff as well. Um, stuff that I've been kind of 50-50 about. Um, but, but since I sold a whole bunch of stuff, cards this past week i sold like over 700 dollars worth of cards this past week um and so a lot of it was just cards you know i sold a bunch of cards under like yeah like i don't think any of the cards were worth more than like 30 bucks and so i just sold off a bunch of cards lots like a lot of cards like i bundled up all of my like bunch of Joe Burrow cards and I post them up to sell as a, as a bundle or a lot on eBay and a lot of them sold. And so I've been super busy shipping out cards. I actually have a whole bunch more cards I need to um, sell. And so hopefully that can generate me some, I don't know, I'm hoping at least I can make like 400, 500 bucks on the rest of the cards I need to sell. And then I can um, um, buy more product for the for the channel here. So um, because I had that extra 700 bucks, um, uh, you know, I gave my wife like 200 of it and then I decided to buy some more cards. You know, so I bought um, a Prism Baseball Mega um, mainly because I bought this blaster and I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and open up one of each of the um, prism baseball configurations you know and i also bought let's see a heritage mega and i bought two value packs as well because i was like you know what i might as well i already opened up one it's over here um heritage blaster so i might as well open up the rest of those retail configurations as well so then i bought the heritage mega and two value packs and i was like you know what i'll buy a tops fire blaster as well so i bought that as well and so even though um, I didn't get anything amazing, you know, I got that Donruss football blast. I got two Donruss football blasters, which um, I did in a break with my friends. I didn't get any select basketball or select football. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes that's how it is. I still bought a lot of product this week. So, um, so then later that Wednesday, I ran to... I ran to my local Walmart, I mean my local Target, because they had my stuff in stock. And so I picked up, picked it up. I picked up two value packs to open up in a video. And I decided to pick up this Heritage Mega Box, which I think is um, selling out. You know, this is 156 cards, so this is going to take me at least two episodes to open up. It might, might take me like a good hour to open up. And so I'm actually pretty excited about that. I like Heritage Baseball. I know it's not really well loved in the hobby. Um, uh, like, in fact, I know, like, I saw some people posting up pictures of their shelves in, like, Canada. And they're, they, people, they're up in Canada, they still have 2020 Heritage Baseball on their shelves. Like, no one wants it. That's fine. I'll buy it. 
Um, yeah, so then I ran by Target, and then I had some free time, so then I ran to Barnes & Noble. Again, the same Barnes & Noble that I got these two um, blasters from. And I picked up, you guessed it, two more. Picked up two more Tops Chrome blasters. Um, again, I picked it up because they're $27, and on Target.com, these are... 40 bucks at Walmart, they're like 37 to 38 bucks. And I was like, if I can get them for 27 bucks, I'll buy them. And they had some in stock, so I picked up two more. And so, super excited about that. Um, and then I ran to an LCS. Um, and I'm glad I did because they had something that I've never seen before. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that could solve so many of my problems. They had these. They had top loader sleeves. And I was like, what? I didn't know these existed. And so I bought a bunch of them and I'm gonna give them a try because my favorite way to store cards is in a top loader. Um, and so, but the problem with top loaders is that, you know, dust will get into your top loader, right? Dust will eventually creep in here. You can kind of see that right there. There's big, speck of dust right there there's a little one right there this stuff will like seep into your cards there's like a speck of dust right there but with these top loaders which i will demonstrate right now actually i don't know if these things work well i they, my lcs had them so i was like you know what? i'll give them a try watch watch it be an epic fail right now oh you know that's a pretty snug fit right that feels pretty nice you just peel that off. That's sticking to me. Dude, that's pretty nice. That's like a nice tight fit. Because usually I use team bags for my top loaders, but this is pretty nice. So this is like one of my favorite ways to store cards is in the top loader. So, hey, I'm pretty happy. That's pretty cool to, to try, try in front of you guys. Um, but yeah, top loader sleeves. That's pretty cool. I might have to go pick up some more of these. Yeah, so I picked up a lot of supplies this week. Just keep stacking everything. Here for you guys. Um, let's stay kind of. Okay. Uh, yeah, so then at this LCS, they also had... Uh, I also discovered um, this product called a Pro Mold, right? And I do want to start storing cards more in these um, pro molded cases, or um, they're kind of sometimes they're called mag cases. So I've got a mag case right here. You can tell here's a mag case, and then here's a pro mold case, right? And I, I I own a bunch of these, and I really like how cards look in them. But the problem is that. When you put a card in there, you can actually shake it around a little bit. And I don't want that to happen because then you can damage the surface of the card. But a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll put this card. Um, so then to protect the card from sliding around, a lot of people will put the card in. And then they'll put a plastic sleeve on top. And then they put, they'll put this the, the case um, they'll, they'll put the case together, right? And then they'll hold the card in, and the card won't wiggle around anymore, right? But the problem is, then when you put this into like a team bag, and you want to look at it, you're looking, the, the card doesn't look that sharp. You're looking through a team bag, through the one touch, through both sides of a penny sleeve, and then you see the card. And I'm like, man, that just, it just doesn't pop like how it should, right? If you compare it to just putting the card into the one touch. And so I wanted to figure out a way to make the cards look a little better in these um, in these pro mode slash slash um, one touches. And so I discovered these. So the, the cool thing about pro mode is that it can hold a trading card in a penny sleeve up to 55 points. And so the cool thing with the pro mold is that you can put the card into a penny sleeve and then put it in. As you can tell, this space, this rectangular space is a little bigger than this one. So with the 
one touches there's a little they make a little some gaps in the corners here so that your cards the corners don't get damaged right but with these they actually make this square cutout the size of a penny sleeve so you can put a card in the penny sleeve and put it in here and it'll be protected right and so i'm like okay that's really cool like i'm gonna go buy some of these pro molds but my lcs only had them in the 55 point none in the 20 to like 30 point um cases but that's okay you know what? i'll take these for now um and i'll just keep my eye out for some more of the 25 sleeve 25 to 30 point versions um they'll come back in stock one of these days um yeah so then what else on uh, i think this was wednesday yep we're still on wednesday so then i decided to run to another lcs right and i accidentally bought this one touch resealable bag um because I was kind of, I was like starting to forget what I needed to, what I had and what I needed to buy. And so I bought one of these. And I was like, when I got home, I was like, oh, shoot, I already have one of these. So, but that's okay. Like I said, I want to use one touches more. Because um, I just like how they look. I think they look really nice. I mean, a one touch is the closest you can get to slabbing your own cards. You know, like a card and a pro mode or a one touch looks really nice the only thing nicer than that is actually getting your card graded and slabbed up right and so that's that lcs i went to didn't have any of the right size pro molds either so i'll probably have to order some online or something and i picked up some singles too you know josh naylor kikuchi um uh, astudio uh, helio ramos and uh, dustin may just picked up some cards that some players that I, I like that I think are going to do well. Yeah, so we'll just put those there. And then went to work, did a bunch of stuff, and then I got home on Wednesday, and I got some mail. And I got... Oh, wait, where is it? I got this. Um, it's actually a bunch of... I did a break of prism basketball it was a prism basketball cello box so it was a box full of um cello packs for prism basketball and uh, you know i did okay I, I got the bowls and um we'll open this up later at the end of the video um so i'll just put this i don't know we'll just put this right here for now and the thing that i was super excited for was that on wednesday i finally received it holy cow took forever but i got it this is a Topps Chrome Light box. It's not a hobby box, um, but it's a light box. Like it doesn't even fit in this in my screen here. If I turn it sideways, it'll fit. But yeah, this one, um, no guaranteed auto. Sixteen cards, uh, sixteen packs per cards, four cards per pack. So you're getting the equivalent of two blasters. Two bla a blaster is 32 cards, and you're getting 64... Wait, is that right? My math right? Yeah, you're getting 64 cards here in this light box. And so that's the equivalent of two Topps Chrome blasters. But the cool thing about this one is that you get four guaranteed... Um, I forget what they're called. And it's like a sp speckle black and white refractor. It's something like that. It looks really cool. And so I wanted to give that a try. I mean, this is my very first hobby box of anything I've ever bought. So we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. If not, that's okay. That's how the hobby is. So we'll see. I'm going to be opening this up on the channel this week. So I don't know. I guess we'll just put this. That's going to fall over. We'll put this right here. For now. Yeah, and like seriously, this thing took like I think two weeks to get to my house. It got delivered from Scranton, Pennsylvania to my house via FedEx and the USPS. And seriously, I think it passed by my house like three times. Like, like I, I, I couldn't explain it. Like I, I was just watching it and I'm like, yeah, it just went by my house. 
And then a day later, it goes by my house again. And then a day later, it goes by my house again and gets delivered to the post office. And then the post office, like, finally delivered it to me. So, I don't know, man. FedEx, whatever you guys are doing, like, with the logistics, man, it is... It needs some work, man. It needs some work because a box shouldn't pass my house three times, you know, on three separate days. But, yeah, I mean, if any of you guys have ever ordered stuff from Tops, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's it's frustrating. They're just wasting money. So, yeah. Anyways, all right, so let's move on here. So then that was my Wednesday, really good Wednesday. So then on September 23rd, a Thursday, um, I decided to sleep in um, to my Walmart because I – bought a bunch of product already like i bought like 200 sleeves a whole bunch of like different type of supplies i got a whole bunch of cards um i got this light box i got a i got a break in and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna sleep in so i decided to sleep in um dropped my kids off at school and then i was like you know what okay let's go let's go check out walmart on the way to work so i swung uh, i swung by walmart and i picked up these guys um, and these two packs, these two items are kind of like the, the, the jokes of like the card industry right now. Cause I paid, I think $27 for each hanger, right? That's the same amount that I paid for this blaster at Barnes and Noble. I paid 27 bucks for these and I also paid 27 bucks for these in that prism. Right. And so with this, you get five cards you get 20 cards. With these, you get 32 cards. So these are an absolute ripoff. You're paying $27 for 20 cards, or, I mean, at Walmart, or you can go to Barnes & Noble and pay 27 bucks for 32 cards. So what would you have to do? Pay 27 bucks for 20 cards or for 32 cards? Obviously, it's 32 cards. Um, these, I don't think, come with anything special in them. Um, so, yeah. I bought these just to open up on the channel. And then... Let me see here. Let me turn these around so you guys can identify what these are. Down on top, and also I decided to grab these. These are 16 bucks each, which is a crime because last year these were like 10 bucks. But I hey everyone, sorry about that. My uh phone was acting up, and so um, my video kind of cut off there, and I had to kind of restart my phone and kind of clear up some space and charge it up a little bit. I don't know what went wrong with it, but anyways, but yeah, uh, decided to grab these on Thursday morning as well. Um, just because I grabbed this earlier in the week, I was like, you know what? Might as well open up all the retail configurations of Prism Baseball, even though I know I'm not going to like it. Hopefully I get something good, but you never know. Might get something good. We'll see. Um, so then on September 24th, a Friday, um, what happened on Friday? I don't think anything happened on Friday. Um, and then, but then on Saturday, I did receive a package. Um, I received this. Mm-hmm. 2021 Tops Fire. Um, it's only 20 bucks, and I know this is a low, low, low-end product. Um, but I decided to go ahead and give it a try. You know, you never know. I might get an auto in here. This was on Target's website maybe about two weeks ago. And they also had what they called a hobby box. I say that with quote marks because they call it their hobby box, but it's actually a Target exclusive. I think it was like 80 bucks and you're guaranteed two autos. And I was just kind of like, ugh, 70 bucks. I don't know. I, I actually passed up on it, um, which I'm kind of okay passing up on it. Um, maybe so, yeah, because yeah, I'm happy I passed up on it because it was 70 bucks, but at the same time, I kind of wish I had some just so that I could open it for the channel, but you know, that's, that's okay. That's all right. Um, let's see, we'll put this here and then, oh yeah, with this, 
um, firebox. I also got my two Donruss football blasters, which I opened up and I showed you some of the cards I pulled up. I pulled from those um, earlier um, in the video. A bunch of Mac Jones rookie cards, a Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields rookie card. I pulled up some pretty good stuff. And then on Sunday, actually I received this. Right, it's a baseball mega box. So uh, for for Prism, and so now I have all of the retail configuration for Prism, and so decided to um, get this as well. So yeah, I got a lot of product this week here. So, oh gosh. Yeah, so we'll see if I keep doing these recap videos just because they take so long. Um, so let me open up this here. This was a this was a break that I was part of. This is some Prism. There's a Prism basketball cello box. So it was a cello. It was a box full of cello packs, and these are the cards I got. I got a I got the bowls in that break, which is fine. You know, nothing amazing. Otto Porter Jr., Zach Levine, Dennis Rodman, Wendell Carter. And I got these two red, white, and blue cards. A Sadoransky and a Dennis Rodman. So this is pretty sweet. I think Dennis is probably my best card from there. And then I was also part of a Topps Chrome. I'm uh, sorry, a Bowman Chrome and Bowman Sapphire break. I did like two or three of those breaks. Oh man, this is pretty tight. I'm just going to rip that off. All right, and I got some decent cards. I had one break I had for Bowman Chrome. I had the A's and the cards. Didn't get much. I had another break where I had the dot, the Tigers and the Mariners. That was a better break. Um, yeah, it's part of the Tigers. The A's, Tiger, Spencer, Torkelson, that's pretty sweet. I also had the cards. And then for the Bowman Sapphire break, I had Detroit and the Angels. It's a little disappointing, but that's okay. And then um, and these are other cards that I got from there. Wander Franco out of 199 Cody Bellinger out of 499 Soto out of $2.99. Purple Tatis out of $2.50. Julio Rodriguez Green out of $1.99. And another Julio Rodriguez out of $4.99. So I'm actually excited for these two cards. Julio Rodriguez should get called up next year. And I think Julio Rodriguez is actually, even though the Mariners have a whole bunch of really good young talent, I believe Julio Rodriguez is actually going to be like the centerpiece of their team. He is rock solid man um but yeah guys a super long video thanks for um listening to me ramble on about my week in the hobby i got a bunch of supplies got two thousand penny sleeves other types of sleeves i got one two three four five six seven blasters um one two three four hangers i got a light hobby box of tops chrome I got a mega box. I think I'm missing some things. But yeah, it was a good week in the hobby. Very successful week in the hobby. So guys, thanks again for just listening to me ramble on about this. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this video. I might kind of try to condense it. Um, just try to make it more palatable. I, I would like to keep this video down to like at least 20 minutes. But we'll see. We'll see. I got to figure out how to do this stuff. Um learning how to do this stuff. So again, I appreciate you guys just joining me for the ride and um, hopefully you're having fun just like I am. So uh, you guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.